we are in interesting times. And so today, it's Palm Sunday, the first Sunday of the month, and we always share communion together. So I want to take a few minutes and talk through how we can share communion while we're not in the same space. This year on the Civil Rights History trip to Memphis, many of us attended a church where we received communion in this fashion. So Jake and I will be taking communion this way today. And if you happen to have the self-contained wafer and juice at home, please do the same. If not, please find something in your house that represents the bread and the juice and partake in that as well. We're going to have a few moments of silence and then we're going to continue with our communion liturgy that we read every month so that we all still feel connected and have the familiar sense that we are together sharing this meal. Let us be together in a moment of silence. Scripture says, after supper, they prayed together and they sang, we're going to pray and not sing, but let us pray right now. Eternal Spirit, as this once scattered grain was gathered to become one loaf, so may all your people be woven together by your grace and peace. As this fruit was brought forth from the vine, so may we go forth in your love, planting fields of compassion that harvest mercy and justice. 
Perhaps you'll sing at home. Go in peace. <laughs>